What's going on everyone? Today we're diving into the fun topic of how I went from being a 18 year old broke personal trainer to building a 30k a month online fitness coaching business. So welcome to the channel if you are new here. My name is Billy Harris and I'm the founder of the Infra Productions coaching program. We help personal trainers, undervalued online coaches and gym rats successfully start and build an online fitness coaching business scale it to 30K plus per month in 90 days time. I produce content like this on YouTube because there's loads and loads of broke personal trainers and struggling online coaches out there, and I do not want you to be one of them. Let's dive into today's video. Okay, so if you're watching this video, you're currently most likely in one of three situations. You're currently either a personal trainer, someone building a online fitness coaching business, or someone that I refer to as being a gym rat, that wants to turn their passion into an online fitness coaching business. And you're now wanting to ask the questions and actually start thinking about how you can successfully build an online fitness coaching business which scales to 30K plus per month like I have done. So one of the first questions you guys be asking, I'm sure, is how on earth were you charging 5K per client you were working with? And that's a, a fair question to be asking first and foremost. The majority of online coaches, as I'm sure you guys are aware, in terms of like industry norm, industry sa uh, standards as such, will be charging between 50, let's go 50 pounds if you're in pounds or in dollars, 50 to maybe 200 per client they're working with, per training program, nutrition program, etc. And this is the only model that I was aware of previously when I was working as a personal trainer in gym box at the age of 18. And that's the model that I started to try and scale with. However, in order to facilitate scale with that, I'd have to work with so many, so many clients in order to facilitate any level of scale. 50 times 200, you guys can do the maths on that. It's a huge amount of work in order to collect a significant amount of revenue. So I then came across the model of building a high ticket online coaching business from individuals like Sam Ovens, individuals in the digital marketing space, info product space, e-commerce space. And I wasn't aware of anyone in the fitness space at the time doing that, applying a high ticket model to a service. And therefore I started the pursuit or rather went about trying to build an online fitness coaching business, which I eventually then turned into my peak performance program, which I was selling at 5K per client I was working with. So that's the first thing I wanted to discuss with you guys. The first point I wanted to raise I was aware of the low ticket model. I tried it. It was very difficult to scale up to work with so many clients in order to facilitate even 2K to 4K per month of revenue. Um, and also the clients I was working with were anyone and everyone who was obviously wanting to actually sign up with me and join my services. So it was people that were middle-aged women, for example, wanted to lose fat. It was 18 year old dudes wanted to get jacked in the gym, maybe whilst they're at university. It was a whole abundance of clients. And the majority of them could only afford low ticket services. So I then started to ask the question, how can I build a high ticket online fitness coaching service? Individuals in the e-commerce space, digital marketing space, SaaS software, they're all building out high ticket models or high ticket products. How can I do the same thing in the fitness space? And as I said, build a 5K plus product. So I was charging 5K USD per client I was working with. So the objective of today's video is to talk you guys through the whole process that I went through from A to B, from charging hourly rates, then building a 30K a month online fitness coaching business and everything there and in between that facilitated that level of growth. So let's dive into it. Let me refer to my notes quickly. First and foremost, we want to think about your framework, which will facilitate growth with an online fitness coaching business. And I break this down into six components. So I'm going to write them on this iPad here. So we have offer, content, Traffic, Messenger, Sales, and then finally, the sixth component is Service Delivery. Delivery. Okay, so these are the six things or the six skills you need to be able to master in order to facilitate growth with a high ticket model. Okay, and I dive into each step bit by bit, each component bit by bit and explore, and actually elaborate upon how you do this correctly with your online fitness coaching business. So you don't have to be charging 50 pounds per client you're working with. You can actually then start charging high ticket prices for your product. Okay, so first and foremost, we're gonna dive into offer. Okay, so let me just get a different color here. This is where we're gonna be starting off right with. So first and foremost, what, what is an offer? What do I mean when, by, when I'm referring to an offer? Most individuals that I speak to, particularly fitness coaches that are hopping on sales calls with myself and my team, will talk about um, what they're offering in terms of their delivery. So for example, training programs, it could be a nutrition program, it could be a diet program, whatever it may be. And that's not what I'm referring to when I'm referring to your offer. I'm not referring to your deliverables. 
all an offer is in itself is an exchange of value, okay? So the customer's paying you money and you're then delivering a desired outcome, DO. Okay, that is what an offer is. That's an exchange of value in itself. It is the most simple form, okay? So effectively it's an exchange. Now, in terms of the fitness space in general, or rather the coaching space in general, you can build offers in three different types of markets or three different types of, uh, I suppose, fields. So you have the health space, you have the relationship space, and you then have the make money space. Okay, so these are three different fields in itself. And you can build coaching businesses and coaching offers in each one of these fields. Obviously, the field we'll be discussing and talking about more so and diving into in itself today is the health field and the health space. So you can build a coaching offer in that particular space, and that is going to be our priority for today. So the health space. Okay, just to make you aware of that framework. Again, three fields in itself are diving into the health uh, space first. Health, wealth, and relationships. So with an offer, you have to identify a type of prospect you're wanting to work with. So a market, effectively. This is your first component and your first priority. Okay, and let's explore this. So in order to identify the market you want to be working with, they have to tick four boxes. They have to be in pain. They have to be easy to identify online. So I refer to that as EIO, easy to identify online. They have to be in a growing market. Okay, and finally, they have to have access to capital. Okay, and this is the framework you need to be thinking about, or rather the boxes you need to be ticking when it comes to picking your market for your high ticket online fitness coaching business. So if we dive into this in more detail, Let's think about how we build this out and how it applied to my peak performance program. So first and foremost, is the market in pain? I understood that my market, the individuals I wanted to work with were entrepreneurs, okay? Now the reasons to why is pretty simple and straightforward based off this framework. So entrepreneurs, I'll refer to them as ENT, okay? Effectively, individuals doing six, seven, and eight figures with their business per year. So young individuals in the e-commerce space, real estate space, digital marketing space, coaching and education space, crypto, SaaS software, etc. Any form of business medium which would facilitate huge amounts of financial success and growth and affluence. So in itself, what is the pain this type of prospect is suffering from? Well, in the main, they're suffering from reverse uh, adverse effects, sorry, of building a business. Okay, and what are the adverse effects? Well, effectively, these individuals at a young age have sacrificed their health, their sleep, their well-being, mental well-being, physical well-being, in order to build a business, that is their pain. So at this moment in time, their health is at a poor quality. It's not an optimal standard. Okay, so I'll put health and then a minus here. And therefore, they're now wanting to reverse the adverse effects that running a business has had on their health and get their health back to a healthy place. And therefore, we're gonna take them from effectively being in, let's say, a minus 50 position, so in debt with their health, back to zero. That's our goal with this, with this pain that our client's suffering from. Okay, now again, in terms of this market, are they easy to identify online? Well, yes, absolutely they are. And that's why I was able to facilitate scale with my business, okay? So where are these individuals online? Let's dive into that, okay? And how can you determine this with your own offer in the future? Okay, so these to identify online. We have obviously Instagram, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have platforms like YouTube, we have LinkedIn. Those are just a few examples of social media platforms we can use to try and find our ideal clients. Now, I know that young individuals that I want to work with, the entrepreneurs I want to work with, are on all of these social platforms. I know exactly where they are online. As my, as, a, as an individual myself, I regard myself as being an entrepreneur, and therefore I'm most likely from the same places or the same locations online and social media that these people are, that my ideal clients are, and therefore I can find them with ease. Are they in Facebook groups? Are they following each other on Instagram? Are they following each other on Twitter? Engaging with each other's tweets, retweeting each other, etc. What kind of content are they posting on YouTube or content they're following and actually absorbing on YouTube and watching? That's how you identify a prospect online, okay? So again, my offer, the entrepreneurs I want to work with, my market, they're in pain, so we tick that box. Cool, nice one, they're easy to identify online. Awesome, is it a growing market? Absolutely. More and more individuals are now um, not going to university and not pursuing academic routes anymore by any means in order to actually get a nine to five job. In itself, in the main, they're now building their own businesses and actually finding their own streams of income. And therefore, this market is growing. Yes, absolutely. Okay, last box, and last component. Is this individual, is this type of market, is this type of prospect, do they have access to capital? Yes, of course they do. The individuals I wanted to work with, six, seven, eight figure entrepreneurs, very clearly have access to capital. Okay, that's the amount of revenue they're collecting every year, therefore they have access to capital. So when it comes to building your online fitness coaching business, and if you're wanting to move forward with a high ticket model, 
You need to be thinking about, does my prospect, does the individual I want to work with tick these four boxes? If not, you have to think about then finding a different type of prospect, different type of market to actually then serve and actually deliver value to you with your offer, okay? And again, the reasons to why most people charge low ticket prices is because they haven't actually ticked off these four things, okay? Their prospect isn't in pain, and as a result, they sell to everyone and anyone they possibly can who displays some form of interest in their offer, okay? They don't know how to identify where their prospects are online because again, they're selling to everyone. They're selling to a mum who's 50, they're selling to a dude who's 18 who wants to build his body whilst he's at university, yeah? And as a result, they're selling to effectively no one and anyone at the same time. Therefore, they're very hard to identify where these people are online. Is it a growing market? Yes or no? Again, if you don't have an ideal prospect in mind, there's no way to determine if it's a growing market or not and whether that or not that market itself is feasible at scale. Also, again, low ticket, obviously the individuals you're working with in the main would be individuals that are uh, earning like, let's say like average wage. And therefore in itself, they obviously cannot afford to pay you 5K plus per client you work, uh, for your service. Yes, yeah, so you're charging 5K plus per client you're working with. It's simply not possible. This is what you wanna be thinking about. In terms of the second component of your offer, Let's run through this. Let's try and make this a bit bigger. There we go, cool. Let's run through the second component. So obviously you've identified your ideal market, the prospects you want to be working with, the type of individual you want to be working with. We're now gonna be thinking, okay, what exactly is it you're offering, okay? And again, when I'm referring to what exactly is your offering, I am not referring to your deliverables, okay? I'm not referring to how you coach them. I'm not referring to how you contact them, how you give them access to training programs, etc. No, that is not what we're talking about. We're talking about value here, okay? And effectively, what is the desired outcome of working with you, okay? So if, again, if I refer to peak performance, obviously the value I was delivering in itself was reversing the adverse effects of running a business has had on someone's health. It was pretty straightforward, okay? And therefore my objective, again, to add some clarity to this, was to take them from minus 50 with their health back to good health, zero, yeah? So they're no longer in debt with their health. They've, achieved, they've created huge amounts of financial abundance and success, but in itself, as a result of that, the health was in a decline or in debt, yeah? And therefore our objective was to obviously get them back to zero, get them back to a healthy level, a healthy standpoint with their well-being. okay? And these are the two components of my offer. I identified my prospect and identified an offer which was desired by them. They had that desired outcome in mind and therefore they perceived it as being valuable, okay? So now that I've determined who I want to work with and what exactly it is I'm delivering in terms of desired outcome, I now need to think about how I actually start to acquire customers. So let's rub this stuff out first. And again, most individuals in the fitness space, particularly in the online coaching space or as a personal train as personal trainers, uh, tend to get this wrong, unfortunately. And I also made this mistake. So I was victim to all of these things. I've learned the hard way over the past four years or so. Um, I started off as a fitness professional at the age of 18, working in a gym, in a local gym in Hastings, and obviously moved to London. Um, and now I then built up to a 30K a month online fitness coaching business, and I now teach others how to do the same. So I've been through all of those mistakes. I've made every, every error in the book, every rookie error in the book, and now I'm teaching you guys how to, uh, to not do that effectively and as a result facilitate growth with ease and with pace, okay? So when it comes to content, what the majority of people do is they look at an IG influencer, okay? So it could be their favorite influencer. So let's refer to Steve Cook. He's one of my idols for sure. Definitely was when I was a kid and probably one of the leading figures in the fitness space still to this date. And what they'll do is they'll look at their content. So it could be a reel, it could be an IGTV, it could be a topless pic, whatever it is, workout, whatever it is, swipe file, and they will copy it <laughs> in some form. So look at their favorite influence. They'll be like, cool, I don't have any inspiration. I don't think I can create any original content. And as a result, they simply copy what other people are doing. And this is the absolutely wrong way to approach things. In itself, with your content, what you want to be doing is pretty simple and straightforward, okay? We are delivering value. We are telling a story and we are removing problems and pains for the individual you want to work with. Not much more difficult than that, okay? So a lot of the time I get asked questions like, should I be posting IGTV? Should I be posting reels? Should I be posting swipe file content? Should I be posting topless pictures to facilitate interest in my business and in my health coaching business? Um, and not necessarily, no, that's, that's not the right way to, that's not the right question, first and foremost. It's more so a case of what is the objective of me posting content? Am I looking to add value to my market in terms of my ideal clients? Am I looking to resolve their problems and their pains? Am I looking to tell a story about myself and what I've been through and therefore add um, or associate myself as being an authority figure in the space with the market I'm trying to tap into, okay? So in terms of value, what I mean by this is, for example, this piece of video content I'm recording right now on YouTube is value content. It's explaining the basic framework, the six step, a six step framework, which will take you from bringing a broke personal trainer to building a high ticket, successful, wildly profitable online fitness coaching business. It's pretty straightforward, okay? So that's a value piece of content, tick. 
okay? In terms of adding a narrative, in terms of adding story, I'm also talking about my own personal experiences, okay? So being a personal trainer at the age of 18, so I'm building a successful 30K a month online fitness coaching business. I'm adding narrative, I'm adding story, I'm associating myself as being an authority figure in this space. Make sense? In terms of problems and pains, you're thinking about, okay, well, what's the list of problems or pains my, my prospect experiences, my ideal market experiences, and how can I remove them through content? How can I give them very clear and specific action items? So for example, one of the pains of my ideal prospects, so personal trainer, undervalued online coach, or a gym rat wanting to turn their passion into their career, is they don't know how to build an online fitness coaching business. That's a pain. And they don't know how to acquire customers. And as a result, they're broke, they're struggling financially. And therefore I can relieve that problem, that pain, or at least relieve the severity of it through free content like this. Make sense? Yeah. So in terms of mediums, uh, or types of content you can be producing, obviously there's a few. So you have IGTVs, cool, that's one. We also have reels, great, awesome, tick that box there, nice. We also have pictures, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We have tweets we can repurpose on multiple social platforms, so on IG and Facebook. Also you have long form video content, so refer to LFV, et cetera, pretty basic stuff, yeah? So we're simply gonna be thinking about, okay, well then how do I deliver value content, storytelling content, and content which relieves problems and pains for my prospect through these types of content? Make sense, yeah? And in this instance, you're thinking about what is the purpose of my content again, okay? So effectively, when you're looking to acquire a customer online and you're selling your services online, no matter what your service is, no matter what your business is, but in this instance, we're referring to an online fitness coaching business, you're effectively turning a stranger into a paying client, yeah? And therefore, they're gonna be paying you money in exchange for value, which is obviously a desired outcome, okay? Desired outcome of your service, the end result of your service, okay? And therefore, you need to be conveying value, conveying uh, interest in your story and authority and resolving their problems through your content. Otherwise, the prospect, the individual you want to be working with, the individual you want, uh, you want to actually pay you money for your service, has no idea of what exactly your service is, what the desired outcome is, the likelihood of that result being achieved, the time frame of that being achieved, nor your authority, nor what problems and pains you're gonna remove for them, etc. You see my point, okay? So again, most online fitness coaches, they simply copy other people's content. There's no originality behind it at all. And as a result, they fail to scale because they haven't identified a market, nor an offer, nor produce particularly great content. And as a result, they kind of sit on their ass being fairly complacent. It's definitely not the right way to approach it, okay? That's something that I was guilty of before when I was like, again, 18, 19, probably in my early years of 20 year old as well. Um, but then obviously I started to resolve and as a result, actually scaled on my business. Now, when it comes to traffic, this relates back to where your ideal clients are hanging out online. Okay, we have two types of traffic. So we have organic and we have paid media. Okay, now for those of you who don't know what the difference between the two is, organic in itself is simply content or rather uh, traffic we're acquiring from organic sources and therefore not paying for a customer. Okay, so we are not paying to acquire a customer. So producing content on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, reaching out to your prospects through Messenger, through DM, through Facebook Messenger, through Twitter, for example, cold email, through LinkedIn. That's all organic traffic sources. That's how you acquire customers through organic means. Paid traffic is leveraging paid ads, okay, so paid media to acquire a customer. So for example, if you're selling a $5,000 service, you can pay $1,000 through Facebook or through YouTube ads to acquire a customer, okay? And again, most individuals get this wrong in terms of the application of each system. So most individuals in the fitness coaching space hear about the fact that paid ads are the way to go. Paid ads are gonna be great. It's gonna be facilitating millions and, and millions in terms of customer value, etc. And that is not the case initially, okay? And also, nor is it the right way to approach things. You want to be leveraging organic until you hit more or less 30K a month, okay? Now, the reasons to why this is, is you want to validate your offer first. Okay, so you want to make sure that the market you are selling your offer to wants what you are selling in terms of your desired outcome. Okay, so validate offer. This is incredibly important. If you do not do this, what will happen is when you start to run paid ads, no one will be interested in your offer. And therefore you're just spending thousands, hundreds of thousands on paid ads and acquiring attention without anyone actually wanting to buy your product. Makes no sense, okay? Also in itself, you do not want to be paying to acquire a customer when you first start out and you first start building your online fitness coaches uh, fitness coaching business for a very simple reason. You don't want to pay to acquire a customer. You're probably starting from zero. You have very limited funds and capital and therefore in itself you want to use your own time and your own manual abilities to acquire a customer. 
Okay, so again, how do you do this? You produce content on social platforms, which is interesting, value-based, solves problems, tells a story, etc. And you then reach out to the people who would want your service or you think would want your service. Okay, so for example, I would then reach out to entrepreneurs in the digital marketing, e-commerce, real estate, crypto, SaaS and software space, etc., or different types of uh, business, different types of entrepreneur. I'd reach out to them, I'd explain what my offer was, I'd explain what the desired outcome was. As a result, I'd invoke emotion and obviously curiosity in my offer because they want the desired outcome. And therefore, I would then acquire customers, and in this instance, 30K worth of customer a month through organic means. Very, very simple. Okay, so you must know where you can find your ideal prospect on social media. Are they on Instagram? Where are they on Instagram? Who are they following? What hashtags are they using, etc.? Are they in Facebook groups? Are they on Twitter? What community can you tap into in which is abundant with your ideal prospect on Twitter? Once you fit that 30k per month bracket, you then have capital behind you. And therefore, you also have proof of concept with your offer. And as a result, you can then start to pay to acquire a customer. Pretty straightforward. Paying for a customer using paid ads can be fairly complex, okay? And as a result, requires a degree of sophistication in terms of your approach to your business. Uh, also your offer, your offer structure, also building out a VSL, a funnel, a site, etc. And therefore, I do not suggest you do that until you reach your 30K per month uh, goal as a business owner, as an online fitness coach business, okay? When it comes to Messenger, again, all we're referring to here is actually having conversations with prospects and building relationships. So the objective here is simply to build relationships with your ideal client, okay? Most individuals misunderstand how to use this tool and what they will do is they have two types of prospect. They have warm, that should be a different color. Let me rewrite that. They have warm prospects and they also have cold prospects and they treat both the same in terms of the way in which they converse with them. And that is not okay. That's not gonna facilitate calls being booked in and interest in your offer. A warm prospect is someone who's already displayed interest in your offer, okay? interest in your offer. Pretty straightforward. And therefore, in itself, they're looking to get a better understanding of what the time frame is for your delivery, how it's delivered, access to your services, etc., what the price is for your service. A cold prospect is someone you've reached out to who you want to actually enroll into your product because you know that they're your ideal client and you can actually deliver a desired outcome for them. And you're trying to make them aware of your offer yourself as an individual, as a coach, and as a result, sign them as a client, okay? And therefore, this in itself is a much more lengthy process, okay? So in terms of time, it's gonna take much longer. So time plus, yeah? And in terms of that in that component of things, it's gonna require a lot bit more of a back and forth conversation to be had. Whereas in terms of a warm prospect, if it's an inbound prospect coming from a platform like YouTube, so for example, I might have individuals that are personal trainers, struggling online coaches, undervalued online coaches, reach out to me after this video and say, hey, Billy, I need your help. All I then need to do is get them booked in for a discovery call myself and my team. Okay, with a cold prospect, you're reaching out to them. You're saying, hey, hey dude, I can help you out. I know what you want. You're my ideal prospect. I know this is gonna work really well. Let's move forward, okay? And again, you're then converting a stranger into a paid client. And in order to facilitate growth in your fitness coaching business, scale to 30K plus per month, you need to know how to actually start a conversation in Messenger with prospects and then push it to the point where you then invite them onto a discovery call with you or your team. Okay, makes sense. So, so far we've been through offer, content, traffic, messenger. We're now gonna determine what I mean with sales. What I mean by sales. Okay, so sales in itself, if you're selling a high ticket product, so in my opinion, anything which is uh, more pricey than effectively $2,000 for your service, so it could be for a 12 week product, for example, you need to take your client through a sales call to ask them what their problems are, what they're currently suffering from, get information from them, evoke emotion, Okay, and then as a result, inform them that your offer is a solution to their problems and is their desired outcome. And as a result, you then close them on the phone. Okay, and therefore for your product, they then pay you 2K plus, And as a result, you then deliver the desired outcome. Okay, slash the result. That's the exchange of value there. You need to know how to take a prospect through a sales call. Most fitness, most fitness coaches, if you're a personal trainer, you'd have experienced sales. You would have then actually sat down with a prospect and the client in the gym or remember in the gym and said, hey, listen, I can help you out. But you would have previously sold low ticket products. So something that was more towards the range of, let's say a package, anywhere between 50, maybe up to a thousand tops. Okay. And therefore you now need to master the ability to sell a product, which is 2K plus over the phone. And that's what we help our clients with as well. The final component of scaling a successful online fitness coaching business to 30K plus per month is service delivery. Okay, now what do I mean by service delivery? This is a question I get asked all the time by individuals that express interest in our Infra Productions coaching program. 
and also just more generally personal trainers, undervalued online coaches, people that want to go from being broke to actually building a successful, financially abundant business. Okay, so in terms of service delivery, what I mean by this is the desired outcome, making sure the prospect is aware of what the desired outcome is, the time frame in which that's going to be achieved, how they receive access to your product. Is it through an app? Is it through a training portal? Whatever it may be, is it video modules, etc.? How do you communicate with the client? How do they receive support? These are your deliverables. These are just a few of your deliverables. And therefore, you want to make the prospect and the client you actually sign aware of that, comprehensively aware of every component of what your delivery entails, and as a result, support them through their journey to achieve their desired outcome, okay? That is the last component of your service. And in itself, by ticking these boxes and making sure you communicate with your client well, you deliver the desired outcome, you support them through their process, you keep them accountable, you communicate with them frequently and add them into the community, and as a result, give them access to information, continuous information, etc., which they can then apply. You ensure your service delivery is on point, okay? So again, when it comes to going from being a broke personal trainer to then building a 30K a month online fitness coaching business, and obviously a business which scales above and beyond that financially, these are six things you need to master. Offer, content, traffic, messenger, sales, and service delivery. I hope this video added value to you guys. Um, obviously in the Info Productions Coaching Program, we're working with personal trainers, undervalued online coaches, and gym rats to successfully start and build a 30K a month online fitness coaching business from scratch. We help you guys facilitate that in a period of only 90 days. If you guys are interested, I'll leave your information down below in the description of this video. Until then, hit the subscribe button and obviously the notification button as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.